You think this video will make your YouTube channel more popular. Unfortunately, people just don't like you. Yeah, I know. Don't need you to tell me that. <sighs>、hey、guys, it's me, Cubix.、Uh, I'm at a hotel right now. I'm on a business trip. I'm in Austin, Texas. And I had the genius idea of bringing a single cube with me and nothing else.、Um, so the cube I brought naturally、uh, was the WRM. And as of five minutes ago, I, I broke it. Long story short, this cube is very, very frustrating for me because I want to like it and it is a good cube, but I've never in my 12 years of cubing felt a cube that has been more wrong for me than the Worm 2020. This cube doesn't flow for me at all. Like, I lock up on it more than any other cube, including like a store bot. Like, I, I can't do anything fluidly with this cube and I. I have tried lots of things. I've played around with the tensions. I've adjusted the springs. I've done everything that I can, and it just, it just doesn't work for me. And you know, it's not the fault of the cube. It's not the fault of me. It's just this cube is not compatible with my turnstile, and that's fine. Unfortunately, because this was the only cube I brought with me, it was the only one that I could use. So I did about 500 solves on it. I think it was like a 13 second average. I, I literally cannot even get sub 13 on this cube. So I yeeted the cube onto the floor and it landed on corner. And now the shells are warped. So you can see on the blue side here, there's some warpage. It's the same on the orange side. And the yellow side, you can't really see it, but、uh, same thing. There's sort of lightened plastic just because it bent. And on this edge piece, the shells no longer align with each other. So Yeah, I mean, this cube is no longer comp legal. It still works, so like whatever, but uh, it, it's sad. I'm telling you this not because I think the cube is bad, I still think the cube is good, and I, I still recommend it. It's just that it, it really sucks for me and, and my turnstile. So if you're someone who really liked the Ars 3M or like the GAN X, I don't think you're going to like this cube a lot. It's very blocky. Imagine like a Volk Elite, but like even blockier. It's, it's really hard for me to use. But at the end of the day, it is the cuber and not the cube. So I wrote a program that analyzes my solves and tells me how many times I pause and how much time I waste during those pauses, which is honestly incredibly tilting. So I'm not going to bore you with the details of the code. All you really need to know is that it records the audio from the microphone on your laptop or computer. And you can see normally when you're not turning the cube, the audio level is very low. So this is a very clean signal. Uh, once you start turning the cube, I think here I did four PLLs, you can see that there's some peaks that emerge. And effectively, all the program is doing is analyzing this audio data and finding where the peaks stop and start again. And whenever it stops and starts for, let's say, over 200 milliseconds, we call that a pause. I also used a Google Text to Speech API so that I can have insults read out to me. I asked people in my Facebook group to write insults Because nothing reminds me of my self worth more than having strangers on the internet insult me. I don't even have a tripod. I have no idea how I'm supposed to record the rest of this video. This is so poorly planned. My goodness. I swear all this quarantining and everything has just made me gone crazy. I, I would never. Okay, so I think, I think this will balance. This is what happens. You take away my 3D printer and now I'm hopeless. I can't even. Balance a phone on anything. Okay, surprisingly adequate phone stand. You'll be able to see the cube. You can't see the timer, but that's okay. You'll be able to hear it anyway.、Uh, I'll crank the volume up so you can, you can hear it. You paused four times for a total of 2.41 seconds. 10 years to be sub 10? Jeez, man. I mean, you could see in that solve, right? Like, even, I think it was like a T perm at the end or something. Like, it, it just, the reverse corner cutting just requires so much force relative to the turning. Like, the turning is super light and smooth. And it's not that it can't reverse corner cut, it, it actually does it quite well. But it just, it just needs too much force. And, and I think because of that, I just can't get a good grasp of this cube and it feels really blocky.
You paused four times for a total of 4.25 seconds. You suck. <laughs> Ten years to be sub ten? Jeez, man. Look, it's forced perspective. Uh, I hate this cube. You pause six times for a total of 3.93 seconds. F you. <laughs> F you. You paused three times for a total of 2.26 seconds. You ain't fast. Well. Now we're sitting on the floor because that's where I belong. Jokes aside for a second, the code that I wrote is actually kind of cool. It works surprisingly well in detecting pauses and it's kind of useful information to know how much of your solve is spent just pausing and not turning. I would prefer if the cube wasn't <laughs> the Worm 2020 and it was actually a cube that I normally use, but given the circumstances, I still think it's a pretty good demonstration that there are ways to build trainer tools without using smart cubes. The original concept of the video was actually to write a program that could detect move count. It was supposed to follow the same idea of thresholding the audio data and seeing how many times there were peaks that reached that threshold. Unfortunately, the WRM is fairly quiet and so I think a lot of times the turns just didn't register. So overall it was kind of unreliable. I think if you had a cube that was louder and crunchier, like maybe the Maru CM3, you could potentially get away with doing this kind of thresholding to count how many moves your salts actually included. But regardless, I'm actually fairly happy with how this program turned out. Overall, the results were fairly consistent from solve to solve. I did about 200 solves using this trainer, and generally speaking, a 12 second solve would have about 4 seconds of pause, while a 10 second solve would have about 2 seconds of pause. I think those numbers make sense. I have generally good TPS, but poor efficiency, so if I just spam TPS and don't pause, I don't think an 8 second solve is really that unreasonable. So anyway, that's today's video. I know the video was weird, but I didn't bring my camera, didn't bring any other cubes. All I had was the Worm 2020 and my noggin. So this is what we got. I have a ton of ideas for future videos that I'm really excited about. Some of them are going to have to wait until I get back from my business trip. But if you like what you see and you want to see more of this type of stuff, make sure to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, toodles. <laughs> All the pieces feel the same, don't they?